Hello, and welcome to a new video. Um, uh, I was going to make a video about um, a much more well-prepared and, and in-depth video about Swedish financial history, but I didn't get around to it. So I figured I'd make this one instead because I wanted it out by midsummer so I could give away some stuff while celebrating the Swedish midsummer. We are uh, walking around in the woods, it's really nice. I uh, went to Stockholm the other week and I got a bunch of like, yeah, a bunch of nice footage, I guess, on stuff that was supposed to be related to that, to that information I had on the Swedish financial history. But then I, like I said, didn't get, get around to, to actually make the video about it. But instead of making the video, I'm just gonna ramble on here about how you um, go about contacting me to get those free documents and stuff and uh, while I babble away I'll overlay this video with different shots from the Swedish capital. Um, so I, I was going through my old files the other, the other week before going on the trip and I found an old document where I wrote a bunch of stuff about the financial history of Sweden where there has been like, sorry, oh, bug, where there have been like financial upturns, downturns, good times, bad times, and how to, uh, you know, I, I, I did the document as I was studying all that stuff for myself to, to be better prepared for if we get, you know, good times to buy or sell. And um, as I wrote it, or, or started it for myself, I wrote the document. So it's a few pages long. It's a PDF that I'll email to anybody who wants it. It starts off from way back, uh, actually. It starts off from, uh, I think the earliest information I could find was from the 1300s, uh, which funnily enough, there was uh, the hotel I stayed at had, a, it was built on what used to be the old medieval wall around Stockholm. And that wall was built sometime in the 1300s, I think. So, so one of the shots is actually from the dining room in the hotel I was staying. And then I shot some footage of the King's Palace and the Grand Hotel and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Funny uh, side note, that's not, and there's nothing about it in the document. Um, the Grand Hotel in Stockholm is, is run by a family called the Wallenberg. And they are probably still the richest family in Sweden they just have a very clever way of owning stuff where it doesn't look that way. But very powerful family and uh, they built this really fancy hotel, like the hotel in Stockholm way back. And from what I was told, they built it to uh, keep a good eye on, on all the business people coming and going from Stockholm. And it's just funny the way they did it, that, you know, just to keep tabs on people. Obviously not like Soviet style where they bug the room and all that kind of nonsense but you know they knew who came to see who and what deals might be going on outside of themselves uh, uh, their own and, and yeah just funny uh, I also got footage of a really fancy house that's called I think it's called Villa Litorin or something um, where a man called uh, no it's something else it might be Villa Litorin today no it's not Litorin something Palazzet, anyways. There um, used to be a really, really big Swedish real estate developer and investor called uh, Björke Gren, who lived there for a while. And he had a very, very good run in the 80s, but it didn't end as good as it, as it started. Um, uh, all about him in the document as well. So the document you can download or, or you actually can download it from my homepage, but then you have to pay. If you don't want to pay, you can go down below, um, subscribe to this channel, and then send me uh, an email or a message on Instagram uh, with your email, and I will send the document right to you. The document is in Swedish, so this will be for the Swedish followers only. If you want something in English, you can also do the same thing, subscribe, like, preferably comment on this video and uh, and uh, then email or or uh, send me a message on Instagram 
uh, with your email and I can also send a um, free audio version of my book Investing for Freedom if you prefer that. So either you get the Swedish document or you get a free audio version of my book Investing for Freedom. And that's the midsummer giveaway I suppose. Uh, the babies warming up for the parties, upcoming parties. Um, I'm sorry for not making that in-depth video, but speaking of the financial uh, turns, the the you know hot markets, cold markets. Um, I do urge anybody who's going into real estate to study the market and and stay somewhat aware on, on what's happened before because that's the best information I suppose we can get for what might be coming in the future. Um, I did that document and study on the Swedish financial history and it served me pretty well. Uh, it somewhat works you know for all markets I suppose but I find myself me and my wife both talk a lot about what's happening now and where we might be going because we're not quite sure yet and obviously no way to be certain but we have sort of started and decided to dive in quite heavily to um, documentaries about all the different financial crashes uh, that's been in the United States and start uh, storing all that information in the back of our head so we can hopefully be good at staying on top on what is happening and what might be coming and then then being able to use the information or, or knowledge we have off previous markets to do the best decisions we can uh, for ourselves when we buy or sell properties and uh, I think that's a good way to go about things to actually spend some time investing that whole subject as it can have a very big effect on how our portfolios do uh, our real estate portfolios do so yeah anyways I hope this video reached you well I would love to send you some free stuff so please subscribe to the channel uh, like the video comment if you want to send me an email or a message on Instagram and I'll get right back to you with either a free document or a free audiobook um, or both I mean if you want both just let me know in your message what you would like I can send you both too if you want it and uh, with that happy midsummer bye end this video by having a look at that pretty tree over there the pine next to the road it's my wife's favorite and if you wonder why I'm doing this sort of stuff it's because I just bought this camera and I want to play around with it <laughs> happy midsummer <laughs>